Storm Team Weather. Here is Chief Meteorologist Aaron Ayers, sponsored by Jim Bass Cars and Trucks. All right, it's been a quiet week for us here in the Concho Valley so far, and we're going to see more of that as we go through the days ahead here in the Concho Valley. It's going to be sunny and mild as we continue out our week. A cold front this weekend for us, rain chances as we go into next week, and we're going to continue to watch the tropics. It's been a very active tropical season this year, a very active tropical season in 2020. Today we got up to 75 out at Mathis Field. Our average high is around 68 for this time of the year. Our record is 88 back in 2017. Our low this morning, of 32 degrees. That's 10 degrees below average for us this time of the year in the Concho Valley. Our record of 19 set back in 1916. A very cool start to our morning back in 1916. Right now we're sitting at 63 degrees out at Mathis Field. Humidity is at 26 percent. Winds are out of the southeast at 8 miles per hour. Pressure is sitting at 30.34 inches and steady out at Mathis Field here in San Angelo, Texas. As we go into our Wednesday, we'll see sunny conditions for us. Temperatures topping out near 74 tomorrow. Starting out in the low 40s for us at 7 a.m. with clear conditions. We'll get into the upper 60s by lunchtime. By the time we get done with the workday, going to be right around 72 degrees with sunny conditions for us. Daytime highs over the next five days going to be a slightly above average where we should be for this time of the year into the 70s for us. So not bad. But then our cold front comes through on Sunday and that drops temperatures back into the low 60s for us on Sunday. Rain chances also with that front coming through on Sunday. We could see some isolated showers on Sunday. We'll keep it at a 20%, a 10% chance as we go into Monday as some of that energy still remains. And we are in need of that rain here in the Concho Valley. Many places already starting to see abnormally dry conditions here through the center part of the Concho Valley. Some moderate drought creeping in on the edges here. And then we've got some areas of severe drought in Crockett County and then extreme drought in McCullough County, including Brady and Melvin. So we're definitely in need of that rain rain here across the Concho Valley. Unfortunately, we're not getting it now. We've got a little bit of cloud cover out there now, but that's going to be working its way out for us as we go through the evening hours and into the overnight hours for us. We'll wind up with clear conditions overnight tonight. Here's a look at that extended future cast. Things are going to be very quiet for us through the rest of this week. It's not until this weekend when this cold front swings through that we get a chance for some showers here in the Concho Valley with highs behind this front getting down into the 50s for us. That's going to be more on Monday for us with some more rain chances as we go into the beginning of next week. Let's talk about the tropics. We've got Tropical Storm Iota right now in Nicaragua and then it's at 50 mile per hour winds right now. Pressure at 998 millibars moving west at 12 miles per hour and this storm's not going to go very far. It's going to die out here near San Salvador before too long here. So that's some good news. Bad news for Central America where they've been pretty hard hit. Tonight we get down to 38 degrees here in the Concho Valley. Under clear conditions, winds will be out of the east-southeast at around 5 miles per hour. And for our Wednesday, getting upwards of 74 degrees, sunny conditions for us. Winds out of the south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Let's take a look at the next five days here in the Concho Valley. We're going to continue to see that sun and cloud mix for us through the rest of this week. Temperatures still remaining in the 70s until we get to Sunday when that cold front swings through, bringing a chance for some isolated showers. Temperatures back down into the 60s for daytime highs, 50s on Monday, then back to the 60s as we go towards Tuesday. We'll be back with more KCN News right after.